What's going on everyone? Gilman with Live All These Dogs back with another Tesla update video, ticker symbol TSLA. So we'll take a look at how Tesla stock traded today, some key support and resistance levels that we have coming up and based on that, what we think Tesla stock can do. And the reason why it is up decently after hours, pushing up as I'm making this video. So we'll get, we'll take a look at all of that and give you guys a reason why it's up. So if you enjoy videos like this, hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts on Tesla are. And I'd love to chat with you guys down in the comment section. So let me hit record, we will get right into it. So Tesla was up $5.34 today, um, closed at, uh, at $735.11 um, compared to the NASDAQ, which was up 0.95%. The Dow was up 0.5% and then the S&P was up 0.69. So compared to all of that, you know, Tesla was pretty much in line, um, 0.73, nothing too great, nothing too bad. Um, but then after hours, as I was making this video, we are up $14 for the day, pushing that $750 mark, which is another 2% after hours. So let's take a look at why that happened. Tesla got yet another price target upgrade raised to street high of $810 at Morgan Stanley, bull case at 1,232. So Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jones raised the price target on Tesla to a street high $810 from 540 while maintaining an overweight rating, the firm set a bull case of 1,232. That's almost a $500 jump from where it trades today. Um, they raised 2030 volume to 5.2 million units versus 3.8 million units. Um, they have just, I mean, Tesla keeps getting these price upgrades and Tesla keeps pushing up and right when you think that there's a pullback coming or that you know it's done for a little bit and maybe it'll take time to consolidate we get more news um, that's really good so if you guys want this link it's just streetinsider.com and they talk about here why they have really chosen to go ahead with this aggressive estimate um, they're talking about the way they've discounted it typically some competitive advantage that Tesla has um, and they, they talk about how Tesla is still the best position company in electric vehicles um, due to its people, technology, business model, and access to capital. Um, one thing that Tesla really has going that other car companies don't is the kind of hype behind it as well as the kind of um, advantage they have in being the first movers in the industry. Sure, you know, Toyota is doing electric cars. GM is really involved in electric cars. Ford is doing the same thing. But when you tell someone about Tesla, right, it still holds a different value in the electric vehicle world. Young people are all about Tesla, which I think will be a really nice competitive advantage moving into the future. So as you can see, um, what we see is, you know, yesterday we kind of closed below the 732s level, broke below it briefly in the pre-market, um, but it was looking like a little bit of a sell-off was gonna happen into the close. So I was watching the 717 level. We got a bounce off of the 719 level. Um, and then we quickly went from VWAP to the 732 level that we had. Took a little bit to consolidate here, pushed up, and then we were kind of sideways for a lot of the day. Um, really trading sideways between a $10 range between um, the 732 and 740, I guess $8 range. Then at the end of the day, we sold off a little bit, came right back to our 732 level and bounced off of it. So the one thing that I liked about today, even before kind of the, the great upgrade that we got in the after hours is how the 732 level held up. Now that we were above it at 750 almost, what I'm watching is, um, if you've seen the after hours, right, it did take a little bit of consolidation around the 744 before pushing up eventually near the 750s um, where it kind of currently is. So moving into the future, what am I looking at for Tesla? Let's take a look at our, our uh, support and our resistance levels, right? So we are above this 744 level. So if we see a little bit of a pullback, that 744 is the first level that I am watching, um, but it is only about $5 below where we are currently. So if we see more of a pullback, then I think this level that we've seen in the 732 hold up a couple times should hold up as pretty good support um, after which I will be watching, let me zoom in here again. 
After which I'll be watching the 717 level, which we kind of visited today, but not really because we bounced off of the 719, right? So on the downside, 744, but if we see more of a pullback, 732 that we saw hold up today, and then 717. On the upside, really, once again, we are making all time highs. So it's anyone's guess as to where Tesla could go. 770, 780, 800. Um, you know, I can definitely see that happening after a little bit of consolidation. Remember that the Georgia elections are tonight as well. So depending on how those go, could really impact how the markets move in the short term. So once again, we are nicely above the AEMA, which is at 696. Um, Tesla has always closed above the AEMA in this run, other than one day here where we closed below it. Um, but looking for that to continue, which we are nicely above or above it by $50, so not really worried about that. And thanks to that nice move that we had today, we are also above the 20 and 50 day moving average. The 20 day moving average comes in at 712, so if we drop near the 717 level, like I talked about on the downside, I also see that holding up as pretty good support. So another great day for Tesla. Um, we'll see how it goes. I think a pullback could be coming, right? But now that we got this good news, maybe we see a continuation of the path, of the trend tomorrow and we see another decent run making a new all-time high. Um, but it has gone up a lot in the past couple of days, um, especially so, you know, a pullback could be coming, just something to keep in mind, right? Don't go all in with calls is you know not the move in my opinion again if that's what you want to do then that's what you do we've gone from 670 to near 750s in a matter of four trading days right so pullback is healthy pullback is essential pullback could be coming but other than that you know tesla is probably only going to go higher um after a, a pullback i think but um you know who knows if that pullback even happens right maybe we see a continuation it did get a really nice upgrade to 800 dollars $810 and a bull case of 1232. So clearly both of those imply that it has a decent bit to go. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts are on Tesla. And I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.